What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Matt Give the Hands back to you with another video. And in this haircut tutorial, we're going to be doing a simple comb over haircut. We're gonna take a number two guard all the way up on his left side. We're gonna comb it all over. Get rid of that cow lake in the back, guys. Honestly, if you're if you're in a rush in the morning and your son needs to just comb his hair and put some gel in it, this haircut is going to be what your son needs. Now, some barbers may not agree with this haircut because on a back area, um, I get a lot of moms tell me, look, either just cut it or keep it long. His mom likes to keep his hair pretty tight on the sides. Um, this was during quarantine, so obviously his hair is grown out. He hadn't had a haircut in about three months. So we typically do a number one on the side into a number two. So you're gonna see me take this number two all the way up to the, to the top on this side. We're gonna cut that back off because his mom doesn't like dealing with his palate. <laughs> and if you are rushing in the morning on the way to school, you needed to slap some gel on it and comb it, call it a day, this haircut is gonna be what your son needs. Like I said, we're gonna do it two all the way up to the, the top where the, the part is at, and then we'll come back down with the number one guard and blend the, the bottom a little tighter. And guys, this is, you know, a very common haircut for a little boy, um, real short and tight on one side, comb it over to the other, get rid of that cowlick in the back. Because honestly, guys, it's either cut it short or keep it long. And like I said, his, his mom loves to have his, his hair pretty short. Um, so that's what we did. And I've been cutting his hair for three years now, keeping the same type of style. Um, and I cut him and his brother like this as well. Um, his brother's a little bit older, so we do about a half on the sides, a little closer. But other than that, guys, like I said, you may see this haircut and say, oh, you went too high in the bag. You cut his the longer hair off. I'm cutting it off where it makes sense. Um, I know it's not gonna comb to the top of the long hair. Um, she wants to get rid of that cowlick area. Like I said, it's either just cut it all the way short or leave it long. And then right here, we're gonna take a number one guard, clean up the bottom, and we're gonna blend into the number two. I feel like a mom at home, if you are watching this, you can do this haircut at home. Instead of, you can actually knock off the bulk like I did, take a number two guard all the way to the top, comb one side of the hair over, and then on the bottom, you're gonna do a number one, and you'll blend into that number two. Um, with the number one guard, you wanna keep the lever close first, create that guideline. Then you wanna put it in the middle and go to the next tier. So bring that lever in the middle. Once you do that, go to the next dark area, open the lever all the way, and you're still gonna have a little bit of darkness, but you're gonna come back with the number um, one and a half guard and clean that up into the number two. So right here, this is still my one guard open. This is the number two guard. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that into the top a little bit more. Um, so I believe I did a number three as the highest peak on this side of the hair. So, because this is number two and it looks like it's cutting pretty short. So I believe it was a number three and I'm just taking that two open and cutting as, as close as I can to that number three. Then we'll come back down with the one and a half guard and remove that, that darkness in that area. Whatever the one open left behind, we're gonna clean that up with the one and a half guard. But honestly, you don't even have to fade it into a number three. If you're a mom at home and you need to cut your kid's hair, you don't want to go to the barbershop right now with uh, all this, you know, circumstances going on. You could take a number one or a number two all the way to that top. You don't even have to fade down to a one. If you feel confident and you know that um, obviously a one is shorter than a two and you know your numbers, then you can blend into a two. As long as you have a one and a half guard. If you don't have a one and a half guard, it's going to be pretty difficult. Um, because you can put in a line with the one guard that you can't get out. It won't blend all the way into the two. So if you have a one and a half guard at home, with your one guard, it'll blend into a two. And then right here, I'm just going back and cleaning up some dark areas with my one guard open and uh, basically stacking into the one and a half. 
whenever I say stacking, I'm taking that one and a half into the one and a half guard um, to blend it in. I'm not taking it to where it was a number two or number three. I'm just going right underneath that. So right here, guys, um, it's a number three and I'm just removing bulk on this side because I want this side to blend. It's not gonna be disconnected. And like I said, his hair is super long due to quarantine. Um, so we're gonna cut her pretty short. We're gonna take a lot of length off and you'll see at the end how he regularly, whoa, that was a tongue twister. How he regularly wears his hair. Given the circumstances that we're going through, guys, a lot of the numbers uh, for cases in Tampa, Florida are very high. So I'm not gonna be cutting this kid for a while. So he's gonna be going on another quarantine grow out. But once everything gets back to normal, man, um, it's a lot of the kids. A lot of the kids right now are very understanding. I have kids of my own. Um, actually, I have a five-year-old now and I'm expecting my, my second in October, but I'm right now, I'm not doing no facial hair at the barbershop. I am trying to provide for my family, but also be safe at the same time. Um, other barbers in the barbershop are doing facial hair. That's okay. Um, a lot of my clients are very understanding. They know that I have a pregnant wife at home. They know that I have a five-year-old. Not all the barbers have families as far as like a wife and kids at home. So different circumstances, but I'm just understanding to a lot of the, the moms uh, that I cut their sons. I'm very understanding with that because I have children of my own. Um, if they don't want to bring them in. I've had moms ask me what, I'm, what am I doing to provide a safe service for their kid. I actually recommended um, them buying a cape for their sons to come get a haircut. And that's what she did. She bought this cape and I cut her and her son. I cut him and his mother with the same cape and then they took it home and, and washed it for the next service. But being that the numbers are a lot higher now than the first time, um, she went ahead and told me that it's, he's gonna have to grow his hair out again because she's not gonna bring him into the barbershop. But that's totally understanding and okay. Um, and I just, I want all, you know, the kids are the future. So you gotta look out for them, keep them safe. But sorry to get off track a little bit. Right here, I'm just doing a clipper over comb. Now, it's going to be pretty difficult if you're at home trying to cut your son's hair to do this technique. If you see that I'm, I'm, I'm taking the bottom of that comb and I'm kind of combing off of his head and I'm just cutting whatever is long across, um, then if you feel comfortable, do it. But you can just take a higher guard and blend into that longer hair. It's just an easier and quicker way for a barber to do clipper over comb rather using um, another guard. And then right here, we're just gonna go ahead and trim that hair. We wanna keep it a little bit longer in the front and then going towards uh, the back, we're gonna keep it a little bit shorter because he likes to like uh, flip it over like a pump. We're gonna line up the front as well, line up the neck area, square off the sideburns. We're gonna round the back. But I just feel like this is a very common uh, kid haircut. This is what comes into the bar shop day in and day out. Um, us barbers typically have a lot of these clients that do these real short comb overs on one side, comb it over to the other and blend it in. Um, so that's why I said like it's, I feel like it's an easy enough haircut that a mom can do at home um, during this, this whole quarantine. actually had a parent um, cut their kid's hair during the first quarantine, sent me a picture and said that that was their first time ever cutting their son's hair. They watched my video and they actually did a pretty good job. Like it was crazy. Like first time ever cutting their hair and they don't have easy hair to cut either. And everything looked blended. It was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I just don't want that mom to get too good to where she stops bringing her son to come get a haircut. <laughs> so 
So right here, we're gonna line him up around the neck, neck area into the sideburn. Right here, I'm using my cordless wall detailers. Just be careful, guys, whenever you're lining up, whether it's a kid or an adult, anybody, just be mindful of those straps that go over the ears. Move them out the way as much as you know, as much as possible. Sometimes you can uh, remove it away from the ear, but still keep their mouth uh, covered and their nose covered, and kind of go around it. But I've only had one incident where I've accidentally cut the string with my clipper whenever whenever I was fading. Um, but for the most part, I kind of just take my time around that area and get around that mask. And just, you know, I'm pretty careful with it. Just take your time. So right here, I'm just blending this side in with some thinning shears. Oh no, I'm sorry, with some regular shears, some, some uh, shear over comb work. Then we're gonna pin up that front and we're gonna line him up. It's gonna be uh, pretty light in the front, so you're gonna you're gonna see the line up pretty uh, like because he has like light baby hairs in the front. But I don't want to push that line up, you know, high. I don't want to push it to where it's dark. We're gonna keep it keep it pretty low, keep it pretty light. Comb those baby hair baby hair down. And line it up. And you can see it, but. I, like I said, I don't want to go to where it's dark. Because then we're just pushing back his line. But I'm going to go ahead and put some gel in it. And you're going to see the finished product. I hope you learned from this haircut tutorial. Moms, if you're out there about to cut your kid's hair, good luck. And as always, Team Gifted, stay gifted.